It's in the 50s. A little bit of breeze. It's supposed to be northwest 15. Well, that's borderline in the bay. I guess we're going to go. We don't go today, we won't go at all after today. We'll be in the 40s for the next six days and really windy tomorrow. And like I said, snow on Sunday. <clears throat> I just talked to a mumbles man. He said, yeah, come on, let's get out of here. Let's go, let's go. I said, <laughs> I said okay, I got to go home. I had to drop off some knives. And I got a call. I got to pick up some knives. But they're right on the way to the cave. Halfway to the cave. So that'll work out good. Maybe we'll find some more treasure today. Stand by. Picked up the knives and it's starting to sprinkle on us. It's trying to rain on our parade today. That's not good. Oh man, it's charging. Look at that silver over there. Gold. The cave. Well, it's still sprinkling a little bit, but nothing unbearable. Seagulls are waiting for us. Where's the chips at? Where's the popcorn? Water's nice and clear. I got the little baby on it again today. Stand by. Well, that's the first target. Twelve oh six. Might have it. I don't see nothing that looks like a 1206. Maybe it's just some kind of little thing. Let's see if it's back in the hole, hole there. Oh yeah, it fell out. It's right in there. Still don't see it. The hell with it. On we go. Another twelve oh six. And it's still in the hole. Come out of there, baby. We got it that time. Silver what? Silver ring. Mumbles man just got a silver ring. I mean that thing was way, way down. There. 
12.06. That's a nice damn thing, ain't it? Go your belly button. 12.41. There might be a penny. A lot of iron around it, though. Look at junk. Oh, it's a, it's a tack or a screw or something. Oh, rivet. And the wind is trying to pick up. They call it a 14 to 15. Mumbles man's got another silver ring. That's two for him so far. I told you, if he gets going, buddy, you better look out. I hope the condition don't get any worse. The temperature's dropping, too. Breeze it up. Breeze it up. Cold, too, boy. Ooh. I bet it's about 20 degrees. I just dug a tack and a pellet. in a minute. truck now where it's warm no wind <laughs> god no look at that <laughs> look at the bird he's having a hard time flying i know it <laughs> them crabbers them crabbers right there crabbing trying to get the crab pots in they're having a hell of a time right now them crabbers are no little boats yeah it's it's odd that how it come up all of a sudden because uh, I know it. Geez, the water was relatively calm. I could see the bottom just fine. You know, yesterday it's rough as bricks. Starting to rain. It's getting. It's in the forties already. I got some bad news too. Not bad, bad news, just bad news. I'll share it with you in a second. Rancho Max Nut Roundup 43 nickel. That's the best of it. My belly button ring, two bullets, and a pellet. Spark plug top. <laughs> And that little meager stuff there. The bad news is, you know, the Mumbles man found two silver rings today. But we, we're not going to be able to see them. And here's why. He got home 
He said, yesterday he thought he found a silver coin, but he couldn't find it. One more silver coin than he found. He's got a hole in his pouch, and all this stuff fell out today, so it's still there at the cave somewhere. The two silver rings are anyway, and I guess a couple of other things that he found today. The mumbles man has the mumbles today. He gave himself the mumbles. <laughs> That's bad damn luck right there, you know. You find a nice treasure, and it goes back to the location to be found again. Okay, Mumbles Man, it ain't going nowhere. Still waiting for you. Two silver rings in ten minutes. Now, he's getting hot, boys, I'm telling you. we got to watch out. we got some knives to kill the afternoon with. These are the uh, lawnmower man blade knives. You know, the lawnmower man picked up his blades. He brought me them, what was the day before yesterday. And these are the ones I picked up this morning at Ocean View on the way to the cave. Hold on a minute. Okay. She's got three uh, nice wooden handle, I think they're Rogers. Nope, Carver Hall. Made in Japan. Man, they're dull too. She's got a Wustoff, a Hankel, a Wustoff. I don't know what that one is. Nor that one. And a little Wustoff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Twelve and a pair of scissors. Okay. I'll get back to you. Some more knives. Guy just called me up and said, I'm, I'm coming over to your house with some knives. I live in Ocean View. I said, Well, I was just left Ocean View. He's got uh, one, two, three, four, five, one, there's six knives, five big heckles, and a little washed off. Great. Googa booga. Well, I guess the day was just bound to be a knife day. This evening, as I was taking those other two sets of knives back about 5.30, the lady called me and says, I have a block of kitchen knives I need to get sharpened. Can you come by and pick them up? And I said, well, sure, where do you live? And she didn't live very far. She had a whole block of Faberware. Classic forged. A block of eight. So I figured before I put all my stuff up, I'd pre-sharpen them and have them ready for tomorrow morning. Stand by. Well, I'm done for the day, finally. I think I'm going to get in the recliner. What do you smell? Them two little doggies I saw today when I took the knives back? You smell them, don't you? Yeah, it was two boxers. Yes, it was. You smell them. What's that smell, Daddy? I don't like it. See you tomorrow. No spin, just knives.